empties of these. Uh, it's your car. What are these doing in there? What's worse than trying on pants? No, huh? Exactly. <laughs> what's what's um, this? That, um, it's a fire alarm. Yeah, we need to leave. Don't leave with those pants. You thief. Is that your name? Yo. Krupke? Mm -hmm. Familiar with West Side Story? No, sir. There's a character in West Side Story named Officer Krupke. You never heard the song? No, sir. Oh, Officer Krupke, what are we to do? He hasn't seen it, Larry. You can stop right now. Krupp you is a substitute for fuck you. Mm. Has anybody ever said Krupp you? No. Some guy told me to go fuck my face once. <laughs> and by the look of your face, you did it. She found a pair of panties in my uh, glove compartment. I told her they were your panties. That you like wearing women's panties. And why are they in your car? What does that even mean? I think it's pretty brilliant, actually. When I thought about it later, you're going to cover for me, right? They're your panties. How? Right? What's the story? He was in your car, took off his pants, took off those panties? Very odd. Odd, yeah. yet brilliant. Completely and utterly brilliant. Yeah, brilliant. It doesn't even make sense. Not as an excuse for those panties in your car. Oh, so, yeah, hey, hi. Oh, oh. <laughs> right, good, good, yeah. Larry, you have a security tag on your pants. Fire alarm went off and I was just waiting and the store didn't open back up so I just thought I'd, uh, I'd take off. But you know, it was amazing. So he left left without his real pants did you steal the pants no 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 i i didn't steal them i have to bring them back and i'm going to but i didn't steal them of course you stole them fucking asshole thank you very much there you go are you kidding me oh my god this is awful who made that us, us? it's beautiful you made it Give it's me my beautiful money back. <laughs> no, you can't. i want my dollar money. back why does he even have money on him there shouldn't be anything in those pants some guy came over and started making fun of their lemonade guilty <laughs> what, what's wrong with you? Well, I think they deserve an adult critique. <laughs> <laughs> They're in that little kid bubble. They're buds. And you just piss all over them. I didn't piss on the buds. No, I help the buds. I'm helping the buds grow. I'm good for buds. Stay away from the buds, Larry. <laughs> you talk to my kids again? Call in the cops. Duly noted. And then he will be arrested for those pants. George? Oh my God. Honey, you couldn't call it a worse time I got the Tebow guy here. Oh my God, George, we're going through a really big storm right now. Hold on, honey, what? She sounds so natural. How does she do it? The mm -hmm. Tebow guy wants to know the name of the guy who installed this thing. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know his name. Is it Tom or something? Dude, that's not funny at all. She's not doing anything special. Actually, actually she's bad. That was really good. You're funny. All right. No. Thank you, Mark. She's not. Thanks for coming Thanks, in. Thanks, guys. Dude, so come we'll on. Yeah. She's pretty good. Nice. Pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, she's that pretty was insane. Good. What the fuck are you even talking about? It was fake as shit, dude. Honey, in case something happens to me, I mean, it's really bad. There you go. Listen to that. That's a wheel. Hello, pro. You know, she, she was good. She was good, but I thought Cheryl was better. I mean, this is <laughs> Cheryl, this part. She was on that plane. I think Cheryl really set the bar at the time, but... You cannot deny it. She didn't say anything. Um, my pants were left in the in the dressing room. They're not here, so, um... So you lost my pants? No, you left them behind, you stupid fuck. We have a sign in the fitting room that says that we're not responsible for any lost items. I got a sign in my ass, okay? It says, if somebody takes your pants, you take theirs. That's my sign. That's a stupid made-up sign. <laughs> <laughs> you cannot leave with those pants. Wait, really? It's gonna follow you around, that sound! Larry. What is she doing here? She just happens to be here? What did everybody say about the audition? You sucked. Get over it. Dennis asked me if I was interested in a menage a trois. Who does he think he is? First of all, you're my ex-wife. You're gonna have a menage with anybody. It's gonna be with me, not with him. Uh, I what? I don't need you to defile her, okay? <laughs> I would not be defiling her. She was already in another relationship. Maybe she still is, actually. I got a call from Virginia. She can't do the part. She's in a neck brace. There's only two ways you can injure your neck. One is a car accident. Yeah. The other is cunnilingus. <laughs> Good God, dude. This episode is a huge step backwards. You gotta tell Susie I was in a car accident. Ha ha ha. Yeah.